All right, guys. So speaking of the NFL Combine, I do kind of want to bring attention to a bit of a sad story here, unfortunately. So as some of you guys have seen, Byron Jones this week has come out on Twitter and called out the NFL's medical practices. Um, you know, he's tweeted, um, don't take the pills, um, don't take the injections. He encouraged players to seek a private doctor if they have injuries. Um, he says that it's not worth no amount of financial success or professional success is worth long-term avoidable chronic pain. Um, so clearly there's something going on with Byron Jones. So to just give you guys a quick um, rundown of Byron Jones, Byron Jones actually made headlines at the Combine during his process. Uh, he set the world record for the broad jump at the Combine. Then in 2018, signed a five-year, $82 million contract um, with the Dolphins. Missed last season um, with an Achilles tendon injury. Now he's claiming that he can't run or jump. So, you know, injuries are a very um, tough part of the game, um, and they take a toll both mentally and physically on a lot of players. And I'm not a doctor. I'm in no medical field. I have no position and no right to claim that the NFL doctors have done well or if they've done bad. Um, but I'm more pointing out the fact that, you know, multiple players, as Michael Thomas agreed with Byron Jones this week, uh, multiple players have kind of come out and said the same thing. So... I think that um, the best solution here is for the Players Association, who their main goal is to look out for the players, just to just to look into these events and just to see what happened. Um, we obviously had examples of both great NFL doctor activity and poor NFL doctor activity this past season. Um, great being the saving of life of Demar Hamlin, and the poor being of the the way that they handled the Tua concussion, concussion situation. Um, so I think it's just looking into, um, kind of similar with the Tua situation. They looked into it. They made a new rule. They have new practices. They fired that one guy. Uh, maybe that's what they do uh, with the doctor who treated Byron Jones. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not calling for his job or anything. I'm just saying that I think the Players Association should step in and um, look into these claims made by Michael Thomas and by Byron Jones and see if there's any um, points of action that they could take to avoid this in the future. Um, but I just want to bring it up and just say that um, I hope that Byron Jones is, is better. I hope that he heals up. Um, I know he didn't officially announce his re I, I'm guessing he's retiring, but I, he didn't officially announce it, so I don't know necessarily. Um, but, yeah, hoping for the best for Brian Jones. Um, and I uh, hope that he's, you know, good with all of his injuries and stuff.